Let the grandeur of ancient Rome transport you to an era of marble majesty, at the heart of a vast empire reaching from the sun-scorched deserts of Egypt to the wind-swept moors of Britannia. This empire was a testament to power and grandeur, with its influence casting a shadow over global history. The epoch was the year 161, a time when the empire was at the apex of its might and preparing to welcome a new leader. The man destined to ascend the throne was none other than Marcus Aurelius. Born into an era of peace and prosperity, his lineage was that of a distinguished Roman family, their roots steeped in the noble values of virtue and honor. His father was an illustrious consul, and his mother hailed from a line of prominent aristocrats, giving Marcus a birthright forged in nobility and privilege. Even as a child, Marcus demonstrated an innate curiosity and a profound thirst for wisdom. The world around him was his learning ground and philosophy was his chosen field of study. From Socratic dialogue to the theories of Plato and Aristotle, he sought wisdom from the leading scholars, immersing himself in a world of thought and introspection. His intellectual prowess was spotted by Emperor Hadrian, a man of discerning eye and strategic intellect. In Marcus, he saw a worthy heir. He orchestrated a masterstroke, arranging for Marcus to be adopted by his chosen successor, Antoninus Pius. This strategic act lifted Marcus from the aristocracy directly into the heart of power and set him on a trajectory toward the throne. With Antoninus Pius's departure life, Marcus Aurelius donned the mantle of the emperor, embracing a role that was both a privilege and an immense responsibility. Marcus was not only a ruler but also a philosopher at heart, his devotion to Stoicism, a philosophical doctrine that emphasized self-control, duty, and acceptance of fate, was a guiding light in his rule. This philosophy, rooted in the belief that virtue is the highest form of good, became a cornerstone of his leadership approach. Marcus held steadfast to the Stoic belief that we cannot control external events. We can only control how we respond to them. This stoic wisdom seeped into every facet of his reign, influencing his decisions and leaving an indelible imprint on Roman history. His dedication to stoicism, his commitment to his duties as emperor, and his acceptance of fate were the guiding principles of his life and his reign. Guided by these ideals, Marcus Aurelius navigated the labyrinth of power and governance, leaving a legacy that continues to resonate and inspire even today. His rule as the philosopher king is a testament to the power of intellect in leadership, offering timeless lessons in wisdom, resilience, and virtue. During his reign, Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Roman emperor, would frequently find himself deep in the throes of military campaigns, fiercely defending the expansive borders of the Roman Empire against a myriad of lurking threats. His reign was characterized by a staunch dedication to preserving the empire's integrity, often necessitating long periods away from the plush comforts of the palace and in the unyielding environment of the battlefield. As he traversed the sprawling landscapes of Europe and Asia Minor, Marcus Aurelius was perpetually confronted with the grim realities of war. It was within these challenging circumstances and intensive trials that Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king, began to scribe his thoughts and contemplations, subsequently crafting his pivotal work, Meditations. This deep, introspective piece of literature was composed primarily in Greek, a testament a testament to Marcus's extensive education and exposure to a multitude of cultures. Unlike the philosophical treatises of the time, Meditations adopted a more personal and introspective tone bearing semblance to a diary or a journal. It was an aggregation of thoughts, observations and reflections, unfiltered and raw, offering a rare peek into the intellectual processes of one of Rome's most revered emperors. Meditations was more than a mere compendium of Marcus's thoughts. It functioned as a reservoir of his beliefs, his values and the Stoic philosophy he faithfully adhered to. The writings encapsulated in this enduring piece of literature, intended not for public consumption, were brimming with authenticity and intensity. They opened to his deepest thoughts and philosophy, affording readers an opportunity to understand the principles that influenced his actions and decisions. 
in meditations, we find a deep well of stoic wisdom and guidance. The book is filled with advice on how to handle oneself in the face of adversity, such as when Marcus wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This line captures the essence of Stoic philosophy, the idea of controlling one's responses and reactions to external events, a belief that he put into practice amidst his military campaigns. Marcus Aurelius also imparted, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This insightful proclamation was a testament to his conviction in the potency of positive thinking and the influence of our mental constructs on our overall well-being. This quote encourages us to scrutinize our thoughts as they ultimately shape our perception and experience of life. Marcus's words in Meditations encapsulate, encapsulate the essence of Stoic thought. They resonate with the idea that we cannot control the world around us, only our responses to it. Despite the tumultuous circumstances he endured as emperor, Marcus Aurelius remained unwavering in his belief that our responses are within our control. Meditations also emphasizes acceptance of fate, a key aspect of Stoic thought. Marcus wrote, Accept whatever comes to in the pattern of your destiny, for what could more aptly fit your needs. This insight shows his belief in accepting the world as it is, while focusing on improving our inner selves. Indeed, as we delve deeper into meditations, we find that Marcus's writings underline the importance of maintaining composure in life, regardless of the external circumstances. His words function as a timeless beacon, illuminating the path towards self-control and mental resilience. They stand as a testament to the core of Stoic thought, the idea that we cannot control the world around us, only our reactions to it. When Marcus Aurelius passed in 180 AD, a chapter in the narrative of human civilization reached a poignant conclusion. His death marked the end of the Pax Romana, a golden epoch of approximately two centuries in the colossal Roman Empire during which relative peace and constancy reigned. This era of tranquility resided in stark contrast to the tumultuous, often bloody narrative of human history. When this epoch concluded, it signified the termination of a unique age that was defined by its striking equilibrium amidst constant upheaval. The aftermath of Marcus Aurelius's death was momentous. The Pax Romana dissipated and with it, the stability that it had provided. In its absence, the Roman Empire Empire entered a period of decline, a shadow of the power it once commanded. But even as the Pax Romana faded into the annals of time, the memories of Marcus Aurelius, often referred to as the Philosopher King, refused to be extinguished. His profound ideas and philosophies transcended the constraints of his era, offering invaluable wisdom that continues to echo in the minds of modern thinkers and scholars. His legacy was not that of a mighty warrior or a conquering hero. Rather, it was the legacy of a wise sage who sought to understand the world he lived in. His endless pursuit of knowledge led to the creation of a vast trove of wisdom that has spanned centuries and survived the test of time. His words, his teachings, and his philosophies reflect an understanding of the world that is increasingly relevant in the chaotic and turbulent times we now occupy. In the sphere of modern philosophy and psychotherapy, Aurelius's influence is profound. His philosophy, specifically his emphasis on self-control and acceptance of that which we cannot change, resonates powerfully in contemporary thought. His teachings on Stoicism, a school of thought that he himself contributed to, have found enduring relevance in our technologically advanced society. The essence of Stoicism, the belief in the individual's power to control their reactions to external events, is now a central tenet in contemporary psychotherapy, particularly in cognitive behavioral therapy. Aurelius's influence radiates through the core of cognitive behavioral therapy, which encourages individuals to challenge and alter thought distortions and behaviors, improve emotional regulation, and develop personal coping strategies that target solving current problems. The resemblance between this and Stoic, particularly the focus on self-control and understanding of one's reactions to external stimuli, is undeniable. 
In an increasingly complex world where we often feel powerless against events that spiral out of our control, the teachings of Marcus Aurelius provide a sense of solace. His words remind us that the power of our minds remains firmly within our grasp, that our reactions to external events are shaped by our thoughts, not the events themselves. His teachings stress the importance of composure in the face of adversity and the value of calmness amidst turmoil. As we traverse the labyrinth that is 21st century society, Marcus Aurelius's teachings offer a roadmap, a guiding star, to steer us through the intricacies of modern life. His wisdom compels us to rise above trivial disputes, to act with dignity and virtue, and to constantly strive to better ourselves. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. His teachings, a testament to his enduring influence, continue to inspire us on our journeys of self-improvement. So let his wisdom guide you in your quest to become the best version of yourself.